Hey guys, Lee Pennington here. Over the last couple of weeks, we've had some absolutely fantastic webinars, but I still keep getting the same question over and over again. And it's even now with people who are emailing me and asking me, and it's all about, I keep going about custom audiences and I keep going about retargeting, but how do you actually do it? So what I want to do is kind of show you a very short video and show you exactly what I'm doing and how you can do the same thing very, very easily. So I'm going to go over to my obviously Facebook account and I'm going to come to the ads manager. Now I am conscious that not everybody has the power editor. So what I want to do is I want to create these in the ads manager. So everybody who gets this video, watches this video, does have access to what I do uh, and you can easily replicate this. So on the left hand side, I'm gonna go to audiences and I'll come to this page which is named audiences. I'm gonna create an audience uh, and create a custom audience. Now the thing with your custom audience is that it's gonna give you a tracking pixel. So for you to be able to use that tracking pixel, you must have access to the sales page. And when I say access, you must be able to edit that sales page or the website. So if you're promoting a local business, if you're kind of, you know, your own product owner, if you brought a product to the table, you know, you may struggle as an affiliate because you're not going to be able to put this tracking pixel on the actual sales page. But for anybody else, it's very powerful and very easy to do. So create a custom audience from your website. Um, just put in a name. So we'll just do test for this, a description, um, and we're going to create this audience pixel. Now, basically what this does, it, it puts a tracking pixel on the sales page, on the website, and anybody who hits that sales page, they will then go to your custom audience. Now, that's only on the understanding that Facebook has the same details of what those people are, who are landing on that sales page, you know, the same details that they can kind of relate them. And then you will be able to target those people through Facebook. So if you do look at your stats and you're getting like 10, 12,000 people and, the, you know, you only have like four or 5,000 people in your custom audiences, that's because they don't have that information of that person. And when I say they, I mean Facebook. So what can I do here? Um, well, I'll put a description, like I said, I can use, look at the um, audience pixel. I can change the days and this will create that tracking pixel for, you know, I think it's 180 days is the maximum. I could be wrong. I generally set mine for 90 days. Uh, okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create. Okay. Uh, and it's the, and what it does, it's going to create that within here. And all I need to do then, I can do it on the, the previous page. I can get the pixel details. Okay. So I'm going to copy those. Uh, simply it's already copied okay and then what I'm going to do I'm going to go over to my sales page now I use lead pages fantastic tool a little bit expensive but it really is good for creating these kind of um, you know these custom audiences that you can retarget to and they make it very easy for you in lead pages with regards going to the tracking code I'd simply drop that in there and like I say it's the head tag tracking code I drop it in there okay press OK and I'd save it now, what you would do if you're not using lead pages, you would do exactly the same. You would put it in the header. You can also put it in the footer. And then what that will do, like I say, anybody who hits on this page, they will go towards my custom audience. Now, I can't use my custom audience right from the beginning because the audience is too small. And like it says, there, it needs at least 20 people to be able to use for this ads. So the more people that hit the sales pages, the better. Because as soon as it is over 20, I can start targeting them with ads. I can start retargeting. And that's when it becomes extremely, extremely powerful. And something that, you know, I would recommend you to do. Now, the other thing what you can, should do is, so I've created a custom audience, but what I also want to do, and I want to create another custom audience, and I want to put that because I'm sending traffic to a sales page. Now, I don't want to retarget people who actually bought off me, who actually purchased something off me. I'm wasting my money. They've already invested in the product, so I don't want to be kind of retargeting them with the same product. So I create another custom audience and I put it on the, the next page. So whether that be a checkout page, whether that be, you know, your, your upsell, your OTO one, it's entirely up to you. But I'm creating two tracking pixels for one product. So what that allows me to do now is I'll go in here and I've done a demonstration so I can basically send traffic to people who've gone to my first sales page. But what I want to do as well, uh, I got those two wrong. So I'm sending traffic at the moment to the two people who went to the main and to the contest. But I want to send, I want to send traffic to people who it didn't convert. 
Why? Because they was interested in the products. They've got more chance of actually um, purchasing it. They've got more chance of investing in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to target everybody who um, hit the main, like it says there, but everybody who went to the next page, the upsell, the OTO one, I'm going to do this drop down menu and I'm going to exclude this audience. So now I'm going to only target people who basically didn't convert. And that's why it's extremely powerful. And that's why your conversions will go up doing this. So like I said, create those audience tracking pixels, create two of them, one on your main, one on your upsell, one on your OTO, wherever you want to do it, wherever you want to target people, you can do it for your OTO one, your OTO two. It's entirely up to you on a website, even better, you know, Put it on that website and you want to retarget so and you don't just have to retarget the same offer you can put other offers you can kind of use offers that's related to that that they will have some form of interest but it's very easy to do and like i said the actually roi you do get from it is absolutely massive so hopefully now that gives you a better understanding a better insight of creating custom audiences retargeting and you can actually start doing that for yourself okay guys thanks for listening